Alright, so let's begin farming. I didn't... I fixed my joystick, so I'm happy now. Um, I did not do the potato harvesting because I can't afford it yet, so... But we're going to get these guys started working. So this guy will handle the smaller fields. And that was an interesting transition into motor running. I noticed that about some of the mods. They have good startup sounds. At least they sound good when they first start, and then... They just transfer over and it doesn't, it kind of loses its magic. Oh, I must have screwed something up. Wait a minute. Hmm. Wait, why didn't it save my settings? Yeah, that's right. Enter. No. Weird. It like screwed everything up. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It, like, overlapped them. How stupid is that? <sighs> Alright, I'll be back. Okay, now it's working. Get in, get out. Now let this lawnmower start up. And let's go ahead and start the harvest. Alright, so we're gonna be this. Now, interestingly... The button that toggles the guy, the worker is no longer working. Even though I didn't change it, it's not working. <sighs> um, lights on, lights off. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 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 <laughs> what the frick? Oh, I did, why did it? There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we can hire him. Okay, there we go. Much better. All right. I'm going to hop out and let that guy do his thing. We're going to jump into a different harvester and get this field started. This will take a minute to start up, too. All right. Gonna just run them this way. He'll probably fall off the other end of the river. Actually, I probably should run him this way because I think he will get lost and fall into the river. Let's see here. Back it up. There we go. And I'm gonna. Oh no! Did I forget? Oh, Arthur. Oh well, you know what though? I got the. I'm gonna collect all this. That's right. So it doesn't matter. I am gonna be doing collecting. So. Oh. Sometimes I'm silly. Right, so let's hop out. Some of these Russian tractors, too, the thing I don't like is they start you in the cockpit already, and I don't I don't want that. I want to be outside of it. But All right, so let's uh, unfold this guy. No. 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 There we go. <laughs> oh, it already was unfolded. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get him started. I should theoretically be able to... Nope. I should be able to toggle his beacon. Oh, no, I can't because he's a worker. All right, there we go. So, let that guy do his job. This guy's doing his job. One thing I completely forgot about was that I'm going to need a windrower. Especially for those these guys. Because obviously this is going to leave a lot of uh, crap on the field, so... Let's, uh, let's go to the store and grab one of those. I think this guy probably would be good. We'll get a decent a decent mid-sized one. Going to buy that. Okay. And going to run to the store. What tractor should I use? I think I probably should use a... Since I can't do all of these at once, I'll probably hop into this guy. Whoops. Um, press that. All right, there we go. So this guy, I'm going to use him for the the wind rower. There we go. So now my hazards I can turn on and off, which I like for these tractors that don't have any uh, beacon. And so we're going to go grab our um, wind rower and start rowing. 
behind the harvesters. And then we also are going to um, probably collect afterwards. There's really not a huge rush to collect, so I can kind of just hold off on that for now. Uh, how did I get two wind rowers? That's not good. Oh, bummer. Well, that's some wasted money right there. Sell one of these. <laughs> Oops. I must have double clicked or something. I don't remember buying two, but okay. Oops, I slid it right out. Way to go, champ. Drop that off. And we're going to sell that guy. There we go. That sucks. That goes all my money. Just wasted $20,000. Or <laughs> 10 Oh well, what are you going to do? Hi Seth, what's up? My review is going well, thank you. It's not really a review, it's just a... My kids, because they're so used to me doing World of Tanks reviews, every video I do they call it a review. They're like, are you doing a review? I'm like, no, just do making a video. This is Gorkova. Gorkwa. No, I've played it before. I haven't played it for a video yet. All right, while I'm here, I'm going to hop over here. Oops, <laughs> to put me on the wrong side of the tractor. Does that sound so like a I don't know, something in Russian, Seth. <laughs> uh, Russian, that's what I told people. I said if they if it's swearing, I apologize now because I don't I don't know what they're saying. Hopefully it's nothing. Well, it probably is. I would imagine if it's graffiti. If you're Russian or you speak Russian, put it in the comments. <laughs> or maybe don't. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah, if it's not, if it's, yeah, no, if it's racist, skip it. <laughs> All right, so we'll let this guy go, and I'm gonna drive this over and, I guess, park for now. We, we probably should just unload the. All right, we'll tell Ryan to bring the other computer up. Evelyn's getting ready. She's got her chores done, so she's gonna. She's gonna join up with me. It's gonna be awesome. Seth, I'd invite you to join too, but since you always just uh, drive around aimlessly, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know we only have two copies anyway. You're right. All right, so we'll hop out here. We're gonna grab our. Uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Like but that guy's like, they're flipping out the back. Look at that. <laughs> that looks kind of bug. Oh, it does? It's supposed to, though. Look at that's where those things are. Whoa. Whatever they are. I don't think they really squirt them out like that, but. Like there, you hear that? It's supposed to be a sheep, but it sounds like a. I think it's a fly. Let's watch this. Oh. Huh. Weird. Okay, sure. Yeah, I figured this guy was full. That that little one gets full pretty fast, even on this little field. He fills up pretty quick. So actually, we could bring that... It's a really bizarre noise that thing is making. Now, one of the things I like about these Russian... They, the Russian... Um, harvesters is they don't, like this guy obviously totally got lost. He's stuck now. They don't seem to get stuck very easily. The harvesters are small and they have a decent turn radius. So, they don't seem to get stuck very often. Yes, Seth? You're going to ask me something impertinent? <laughs> right through the tree. Look at that. Alright, so we'll get this guy going the other way now, since he obviously wasn't able to complete it on his own. Loser. I know. It's ridiculous. Oop. A little too close here. So we'll take this windrower over to the other field, where it's... I guess it's needed on both of these fields, but... Get this thing unfolded. And here's some of those great looking trees. It's wonderful looking. Just 
go right through them. But at least, you know what, if they weren't invisible or see-through or whatever you'd say, uh, op opaque, or whatever, whatever you call it, yeah, intent, um, it would be an issue because then you, the, all the harvesters would get stuck at every single time, every pass of the field they'd be stuck, so. Yeah, exactly. Seth, you said it best. So. Uh, of course, I left my truck right in the middle. This one obviously handles the, the grain coming out of the back of the harvester a lot better than the other one. It looks a little more prototypical. However, the other one can hold a lot more grain, so it's kind of a trade-off looks versus... I love the way this thing looks, though. I love that beat-up... You know, I see a lot of um, Alice Chalmers tractors um, in Ohio that look just like that. They're just, you know, they're not they're not angular like that, but they're just, they're that vintage, like the 70s. And they're operational. People are using them for their farms, so... Oops, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. No, stop! Okay, <laughs> there we go. Um, so, it's not out of place to have old, beat-down 70s equipment, even in America. Like I said, in Ohio, a lot of the farms around here, they're, I don't want to say they're 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 deprived but they're broke i mean it's it's uh, har farming in america is really difficult uh you're on your own and a lot of those guys are just in debt up to their eyeballs and they're it's, it's not a it's a depressing thing actually it's really if you ever watch the movie food inc it talks a lot about what the farmers go through and how uh, guys that try to do organic farming are treated and, and it's just it's really it's a it's, it's a a very useful insight into the food industry in our country yeah, they do. They get mistreated. Um, well, the companies, you know, require every year they're required to make these huge upgrades to their equipment uh, if they want to stay certified. And then, you know, but in order to stay certified, wow, that thing really did a lot of harvesting. Right. Then they have to get they have to take out loans to pay for the equipment to stay, you know, certified. So they're always in debt. They never get ahead. They're always being required to have more and more. Wow, that's really buggy. That's bogus. I don't want to dump the harvester, though. I really kind of need it, but that's crappy. So don't download that one, whatever that is Don, this is Don, until they get that fixed. Maybe there's a newer version. I'll see if there's a newer one out there. Out. Yeah, it just looks really crappy. Well, at least it works. I wonder, though, this might fill up the truck all the way. If that This one has a lot bigger bin than that other one. The other one takes two or three loads to fill up. I like the way it looks, though, but it just, yeah, it sucks if that's going to be the issue. Oh, he's going to fill up all the way. I'm going to have to get a trailer for this. So I can do a full load. 190. Oh, just. All right, so we're going to go drop this load off. What's the matter, Evelyn? Well, it's a very nice purse, Evelyn. She has a wallet already, so when she gets, like... When she gets like, old enough to have money? When it, in like Actually, she has money in there. In like ten, <laughs> she in has like more money than I do right now. In, like, ten years, she, gets, she already has, like, the amount of... Um, License spot, so in like 10 years she'll be able to Yeah, she'll be in 10 years. She set, she set yeah, she'll out. be 17, you're right. Yeah. And I'll be 19 in 10 years, actually. Yeah, you will. Actually, I'll be... I'll be in 10 years, I'll be 51. Because this year, after, Jeez. 10 years after, this year, after 10 years, I'll be 20. So yeah, that's right, Seth. I'll probably have a new wallet by then. You said in like three minutes? Three months. <laughs> oh, three months, okay. That's right. Oh, there's that guy. So we need to hop out here and grab our pickup. So I bought this blue truck for me, and Evelyn's is the white white and red one. I thought the white and red would look cool. I wanted to try seeing what multicolor did, but I tried blue and orange, and I didn't like it. I want, those are my two favorite colors together. But Oh, why did the guy leave the harvester? That's weird. He gave up. Now, one of the things I like about that harvester, look at that open door. That's pretty cool. That's a neat, uh, neat little effect. Oh, hiccup. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> oh, because I got in there and hopped out. That's why I did that. Wait, how full is that? 92, so I need to dump that one out, too. So, so literally, that other one... That other one literally doubles... 
Yeah, the amount that this that this harvester holds. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's exactly because they both filled up 92% of the trailer. So, so I'm going to run down here and sell this off. Start heading in the right direction monetarily instead of spending all. We got a lot of stuff we got to buy still, though. Obviously, the potato stuff, if I can afford it. But that harvester, oh my gosh, I didn't realize the potato harvester was so expensive. It's like over $100,000. 100, so we might just lose that potato crop and call it a loss. And yeah, I'm, I'm not the right cursive. I'm Seth is learning how to write cursive, and he's actually pretty good at it. He wanted you guys to know. He said he's great at it. And he's not cocky about it either. Yeah. Alright, so we're just going to sit and these guys are going to require some keeping eyes on here, so let's check how the the other harvester is doing. Is he still going? Good. He'll get lost, though. See that? How that with this um, little grass section, that's one of the hard things about these fields is that they have these sections where it doesn't pan out quite right. Look at him. He's going right in the muck. <laughs> well, he's committed, that's for sure. Look at Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I want to hop in there. I want him to go back and do the other part. You're fired. Yeah. Convecta. I think I got it over far enough. I might have to stop and redo it. He starts missing stuff. Nope. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to help Evelyn get on board here. So 